My name is Engineer Jamil Badmas, the motivator and the founder of QHSCS Leadership Academy, a social innovation academy that is a free tuition and is ISO 9001 2015 certified with an accreditation from American Council of Training and Development with 12 other endorsements from professional bodies in Nigeria and the world at large. All praises and adorations are due to the Almighty Wise Creator, the first without a beginning and the last without an end. I've been saluted our Almighty God. I want to say thank you to the great leadership of Nebosh for being able to bring me to this conference. Unfortunately, I'm not able to be present directly with my great colleagues, Brenton and Dee, but I'm here today to share little insight onto what I understand and what is meant by mentor. Leaders present, I salute all of you. I greet all of you and we appreciate all our audience all over the world. Neighbors, well done with this good job you are doing to the world and making the world a better, better place because when we are safe, it goes a long way to make us to be living in this world. We go to work, we go home, we come back to work, we go home, on the road, everywhere we are, safety is so important. Nebosh, once again, we celebrate you for all you do, for all you are doing, for all you have done in the lives of all our people and our assets. Very great asset, that is the people. Let's start like this. Who is a mentor? I know D and Venti will tell us more about what a mentor is. But in my own humble opinion, a mentor is just as simple as a trusted advisor. You trust him so much because he provides insight and support that you need as a mentee. In short, according to Oprah Winfrey, he, she says, so simply put, a mentor is someone who allows you to see the hope inside yourself. Oprah Winfrey came from a very poor home, poor background. Today is a billionaire. Do you know what happened? He was, she was able one day to meet a mentor. Maya Angelou. And from there, she grew her career, she grew her path, her business skills, her business idea, and see what Oprah Winfrey is today. And that is why she put it to us. Simply put, she said, a vendor is someone that when you have it, she, he looks into your insight, understands what you need, and put out the value that is important that you need to add. Have you forgotten uh, our very powerful owner, co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs? and how he, was, he, he met Mark Zuckerberg. And they started working together. And today, see what Meta is in the world. See what Apple is in the world. It's all about mentorship. It's all about coming together to put into someone, give direction to someone. The person takes the direction, also add more value to the people. Statistics is very clear, very, very clear on what vendors, on what mentors have done in the world and what mentoring has done in 500 fortune, fortunes organizations in the world and see how mentors have built such organizations. I must tell us today, all of us on this gathering requires a mentor. I have mentors and I make sure my mentors take me around everywhere I'm going. I have different mentors from business perspective to career perspective, professional perspective and they give insight into what I'm looking for because they are critical advisors. They are a role model that we have to follow. May I humbly inform us today, as simple as ABC, and that is what? When you have a mentor in our lives, you must get a mentor that you value, a mentor that you admire, a mentor you think that will give you a good guide. There's nothing wrong in approaching people to say, please, I want you to be my mentor, but when you don't get positive results, you don't need to feel bad. But first understand, who do you want to make your mentor? Who do you want to take as a role model? Who do you think can give you the guidance and take you to the right path? Who can make you mad is what you need. When I say mad, we must be mad to live in this world. And the mad I'm talking about is making a difference. Who can make you to make a difference in this world? So when you make a difference, you will be able to add value to the world. And you become a value-adding personality, VAP. So who will take you from a ground of nowhere of a, or a ground of somewhere and make you a VAP, a value-adding personality? Or who will make you to make a difference in people's life, to make a difference in this world, to make 
make a difference in society. That is who a mentor is. And that is what we all need in this our profession. That is what we all need as young ones growing up, as experienced ones growing up. That is what we need. Do you know that mentor is not all about age? I have a mentor, a young guy, and he did something to me one day. And I was able to say, wow. And that made me someone again that I don't think I could have been if I don't follow what direction is. Do you know that mentor, mentee relationship is not like father and son? It's beyond that. It's a family bond that shows that a mentee can advise a mentor. And a mentor is in charge of advising a mentee. Such relationship is so key. Today in Nigeria and in the world, we organize what we call leadership reboot. One of my mentees brought the name. I was looking for a name to use for leadership reboot in Nigeria. It's a very big event. We usually do it every October 1st. And the, 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 the young man said, sir, can we call it leadership reboot? And I look at it. We need to reboot leadership in my country, Nigeria. And we introduce it. And we have done the third leadership reboot. Very fantastic. So when you talk of relationship of a mentor and a mentee, it's like this. Am I supposed to talk? Let me listen to my mentor. You need to understand the mentor, listen to the mentor, be available when you listen, be able to have what we call active listening. After that, be able to analyze whatever the mentor is, the mentee is saying. That is the essence of the three A's of mentorship. The first one I've said, availability. Your mentor is available. Your mentee is available. You are all there to talk together. And the next is active listening, where communication comes in. And when you, have, when you listen to your mentee, he listens to you, you analyze and program and process what you are discussing and that brings out the result you want. And the outcome is to make a mentee better, to add value to the mentee and make the mentee, as I've said, to make a difference, to be mad and make your mentee to be value-added personality, to be valuable. For you to enjoy this world, for you to add value to this world, you are seeing what Mark Zuckerberg is doing, you are seeing what Oprah, uh, Oprah Winfrey is doing. This is all about adding value to the society. You've seen the, the story of Warren Buffett and, uh, and, 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 and a very powerful Microsoft, Bill Gates. See how they are adding value to the society. They are mad people. They are making a difference. Someone just tell me now and say, Oh God, Jeremy, all those you have mentioned in Mark Zuckerberg, they are all from abroad. What of Nigeria? Go back and see the direction and the story of Falakia Shueto and Ibukun Awushika. Mama Ibukun Awushika, very powerful mentor, mentor Falake. Falake now has many mentees on that are. He, he, she's also adding value to people. And that is what we call mentorship. Audience and all the leaders present, we all need a mentor. History is there. What we learn from history is that we learn nothing from history. Historical data has shown that organizations with mentorship program, they tend to retain their staff more, they tend to be more productive, they tend to be more engaged, the staff are happy, they are more productive, they are safe, they are healthy, and the business becomes a sustainable business because the greatest asset of every organization, which is the people, is properly managed and is also properly engaged. And that is why sustainability itself is on three Ps, the people, the planet, and prosperity. So people is very key. Mentorship will make someone to become mad, and it will make someone to become vile. You make a difference, and of course, you become a value and a personality. When I was given the award of being the mentor of the year, RSM award, in 2023, the year we are, I was excited, and what promoted me, what made me to start thinking of adding value to people is because just like Oprah Winfrey, I'm from a very poor background. And I feel there's need for me to pull back to the society. Then I gather people, change makers. Let's change what is happening. Let's change the story. Let's change the narratives. Let's add values to this world. Let's make our world better. And that is why we introduced QHSCS Leadership Academy, Quality Earth, Safety, Environment, and Sustainability Leadership Academy. We are doing this just because I felt there's need to add value to people. It is not all about money. The wife of His Excellency, the former President of America, has put it in a very, very simple way. That it's not all about riches. The money you make is riches. 
when you talk of riches, it's the value you add to people. How many people are you able to put smiles on their face? This is further corroborated by Dr. Nancy Mandela, that we are in this world, we live in this world, not to be like this in this world, but to be able to put some things in the world and add value to people. And that is why we brought uh, the idea of QHSCS Leadership Academy, having a lot of students, including visually impaired students, not knowing that this will go a long way to the great, very powerful and great award by RSM. To RSM, I thank you for that award. And on behalf of my, all my colleagues and the lecturers and the faculty and the students all together, 272 graduated this year, 94 graduated last year, we are so happy, we are excited, and we want every one of us to join this train. Let's mentor people, let's become mentee. I am mentee, I am mentor, I'm also mentee. So we need to start adding value and make this world a better place by being mad making a difference, and fact, value-added personality. D, I thank you so much, CEO of Nebosh. I appreciate you for this international conference because you brought me here and I don't take it for granted. And I'm also, I thank Venting for very wonderful insights and of course, all these questions that have been made. I know that you all gain a lot, all audience present here. I thank you all, I appreciate you. On my way to the World Congress on Operational Safety and Health in Australia. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you.